We're here at the 2020 Miami International Boat Show and I'm standing in front of hole number one of the new Cobia 330 dual console. As you can see, it's an absolutely spectacular boat, stunning lines, just beautiful. If you'll spend a few minutes with me, I'd like to walk you through the whole boat and take you up on top on deck and just show you how really exceptional this boat truly is. So before we get on board, let's talk about the hull a little bit. This hull was especially designed for the layout up top. And what's important about that is because in a, in a dual console, with the way the weight is dis distributed, not everything's on center line like on a center console, it's very important that you have a hull that can balance that weight really well. So you have a lot of beam back here, so it offsets that weight so you don't have what the boat tipping on one side to the other, you don't get bow steer, that sort of thing. It also allows you to lift the nose really well so you can get and plane up and, and really get a lot of speed and performance. Another thing that leads to all that speed and performance and also a great ride is this very sharp forward entry, okay? You can see the big bow flare here, right up through here, that cuts the waves, pushes those waves out, so it keeps you really nice and dry. You have a variable dead rise hull that goes all the way, way back to 21 and a half degrees at the back. That's a perfect balance at 21 and a half degrees. Cuts the waves really well, but at the same time, when you're sitting resting and if you have any chop or anything like that, the boat still sits very, very flat and doesn't pitch a lot. So it makes it very comfortable um, when you're in a lot of seas at that 21 and a half degree dead rise. Something else that helps in, in the ride and the performance of this boat is the fact that it's, we construct it out of, out of what we call Varus, which is a proprietary system, stands for Vacuum Assisted Resin Infusion System. So this boat is 100% vacuum infused. The laminates are really, really stiff, very strong. You get a feeling on the boat when you're running, you can actually feel that stiffness. So it feels almost like the waves, uh, the boat is punching through the waves instead of absorbing their impact. Another great thing about that is it creates a, a very, very strong boat without a lot of extra resin weight. So what you get is a lot, great fuel efficiency, a lot of speed. So like for instance, with these 425s here, uh, cruise at 3,500 RPMs, you're running 32 miles per hour. Uh, burning about a mile and a half per gallon. It has a 275 gallon fuel cell, so you can do the math. That's an absolute ton of range. The boat jumps up on plane super, super fast, very quick. I believe it's like 5.7 seconds to get to on plane. And then the top end is about 60 miles per hour. So it's a great performing boat. It's super fun to drive, just really exhilarating. Um, but then you have all these great creature comforts and amenities up top. So let's go take a look at that. So another neat feature we've built into this boat is this ex extended swim platform here. And also we have the, the covered boarding ladder. This ladder is actually um, very, very long. We, we designed it in so we could put the longest ladder you can get here. So it reaches way down in the water so it's very easy to get on. You can climb right up. Obviously we put the, the hand hold right here so that's easy to reach. It helps you get on board but it's, it's nice integrated in the boat, billeted there. You have the shower right here right when you come up so you can easily rinse yourself off with the, the fresh water you have a bunch of room to do that so you're not going to fall overboard or that sort of stuff big transom door opening here sealed, sealed very well it's fiberglass it's we're not going to have any starboard on the boat or anything like that all the, all the doors are even going to be fiberglass or i'll show you a lot of corian uh, uh, or acrylic up here but no starboard no plastic anything like that big nice opening and now we're dropping down into the cockpit area. So as we come on board, the first thing anybody would be struck by is just how spacious and roomy this boat is. It is absolutely giant. The uh, beam is 10 feet, nine inches, and we've utilized every bit of that space. This is like a giant dance floor back here. I've heard it described, which is, I think is the best description. It's like your living room with rod holders, fish boxes, and a live well. And it's just absolutely laid out perfectly. I'll take you through all the various cushion packages, all that kind of stuff, and all the, all the fishing features. But this, job, this boat does an exceptional job of blending those all together. It also does a great job of being very, very comfortable. And, and a lot of times people just think of comfort in terms of cushions. And we have a bunch of great cushions on this boat, and I'll show you that in a second. But comfort is about spending a great day on the water and not having to work hard. And as I walk through this boat, you'll see that and how everything is laid out just perfectly, everything's within arm's reach. There's no awkward steps. You always have a handhold close by. Uh, just makes for a really, really easy, nice, relaxing day on the water. 
So we have it sort of in what I would call fishing mode right now. We have all the seating tucked away. Uh, but I'm gonna open up all this seating. We have seating for eight back here. And it just goes to show you how well designed this boat is and laid out, is you really can't see a lot of it. Uh, what's really nice about that as well is that most all the cushions are really protected. So if you are fishing or something like that, um, you're not gonna get fish blood on them. You're not gonna get uh, hooks or that kind of thing in, the, in them. And, and obviously that helps with the weathering aspect as well. But all these are super easy to get open. All right, the smallest person on the boat can do it here. You have a, a great big back seat here. We have a jump seat that comes forward right like this. That comes up. We have another seat right here. That pulls out as well. That's super easy to do. Another seat that's under here as well that pulls out. So I've just taken this great big open space. It's just exceptional for doing all kinds of stuff and now created it into, into a full lounge area and, and very easily and very quickly. Just because this boat has such great plush interiors and so well laid out for all this comfort doesn't mean you can't fish hard as well. Standard in the, in the floor come two fish boxes. Those are macerated and pump overboard. They're big fish boxes. You have a 70 quart on this side, 40 quart on this side. Standard live well in here. I believe that's 28 gallons. Nice acrylic lid so you can check on your bait, make sure everything's doing well in there. Then you also have this really nice prep, bait prep station if you want to use it that way. Acrylic opening. You have this cooler in here so you can keep your bait, your bait nice and nice iced down. You have a shower in here, a freshwater shower in here. So after you rig your baits or um, do what you need to do to the valley or whatever it may be, you can spray this all area all off. But it's a great working station right here for you know fishing out the back of the boat, re-rigging, doing that kind of stuff. So the boat fishes hard as well. We talked about how easy it is to board, front, board the boat from the stern and how that was designed into the boat. Obviously another great boat place to board the boat is on this side door. Swings out, you have a ma magnetic catch there, big wide opening, great place to get in and out of the boat whether it's right onto the dock or if you're in the water. You have a ladder that comes with it right here that plugs in there. So just a super great setup. It's important that the, the door swing inboard. Uh, you do not want a board, door that swings outboard. If a door swings outboard, then it could potentially get caught between the whole side and the dock and you're gonna have all kinds of problems. So important that it swings inboard. You can see the oversized hinges here, just all the great engineering that goes into this boat. And we only use the, the top components, 316 stainless steel, Everything's gonna be oversized, very robust, and, and very durable. So as, as we move forward and sort of we get into all the comfort features of this boat, the first place we'll stop is on this kitchenette area, which is almost like a summer, summer kitchen here. Very nice Corian top. You have a nice grill here that's a 12 volt, so it has its own, own battery. So you can use it away from the dock. Also, you can tie it in on shore power and use it at the, at the dock as well. But the boat comes standard with this great fridge. You have more storage there, whether you're using that for cooking, t cooking utensils or you could use that even for, for tackle and, and gear. This is a great touch here, which is a wine chiller. So you, you can put your bottles of wine in there, drop your ice in, in below and keep them nice, the wine nice and cold. Just a really, really nice setup. Really well thought out, pretty. Tons of working space here. You have your... your um, fresh water as well right here so you can rinse things off but once again a whole lot of space if you can see this I mean you got all this working room around you but it's not cluttered at all very easy to just get around and, and get things done it makes it really really nice and relaxing on the boat another thing you notice here is I'm standing under the, this gigantic hard top and yes it, it looks really really pretty and it has this integrated lighting and the styling is is absolutely exceptional but look how big this thing is and how much coverage you get here um, to get that out, out of the sun you still have great air visibility around you that kind of stuff you can take in everything but you can do all do it um, under the protection of the, this top and then the top comes also with the extended shade um, as an option so if you want to do that you can cover this whole back end area um, completely stay out of the sun so as we move forward here and we get into this whole area where you know, people are going to be doing a, a lot of sitting and it's just really well laid out just super comfortable you have all these big cushions here 
You have storage underneath. You have a, a cooler under this cushion right here that's really easy to get into. Another box under here for more storage. You could put ice in that if you wanted to, but for the most part, you have plenty of cooler space here, but you have this whole setup where you can lay back if you want to look out back. You can turn around, you can face forward. You can fit four people here, four or five people even probably. You have, you're sitting here right next to the, the captain's chair. That seat is electric. It adjusts forward and back. You can also turn it so you, that captain can be part of the conversation and talking to everybody here. But just super comfortable, all contained. Uh, great, great place to spend time on the water. And like I said, you're still under the nice cover. Uh, it just can't get any more relaxing and comfortable than this. Looking at the helm area, everything is ergonomically laid out, very stylish, everything's within hand's reach. We've got the acrylic electronic package here with the big, that's a 16 inch Garmin there. Um, you got the Yamaha 425 gauge set up there, autopilot, VHF, you can see all, all that fits in there very nicely. JL stereo, speakers throughout the whole boat. Speakers down here at the, at the helm as well, so that sound transfers to the boat really, really well. But very, very comfortable setup. It's also elevated a little bit, so that driver can, could be up high, has no obstructions to his view. Whether It doesn't matter if he's all the way seated. He or she is all the way seated like this. You can still see, see really, really well. Um, if you need to get closer, like I said, this adjusts forward electronically very easily. So you can get right up here to your comfort level, tie right in, you have this nice foot rest down here. But just super comfortable. And more cubbies over here, we have USB ports so you can charge your phone. You could have your phone right here while it's charging. Uh, just a great layout, really well thought out. So I talked about the excellent use of space on this boat, how well designed and engineered it is. And check out this head area. First off, how easy it is to get those doors open, how nicely finished that is in there. Great big opening. You have, you have the faux wood paneling in there. Comes standard with an electric head. Big mirror set up, shower system in there so you can rinse off it in there. But just a great setup, big wide opening, easy to get down in here. And for a, a boat this size to have a head like this, this is really exceptional. So the, the tough thing when you design a boat like this is to have a proper balance, okay? You, you want to have all these creature comforts, and a lot of times people sacrifice uh, other things when they do that in their design, in my opinion. This boat does not do that at all. Uh, one thing to notice, for instance, is like all the storage, okay? You have huge storage boxes in the floor. This one opens up. The back little area with that panel, you can get access to your fuel tank. But forward here, this compartment goes all the way forward from back here, all the way up forward there. So you can easily put skis in here, but it's great for floaties and water toys and everything you'd ever need at the sandbar. You can throw in there, you can throw in all your PFDs, all that kind of stuff. It's really nice to be able to get on a boat like this. And if you bring a bunch of gear to have places to store it, places that you know are going to stay dry, you can see the big lid troughs, the gasketed lids, the big trains there. This is all super dry storage. It's just so nice to be able to put the stuff away, get it out of the way, and know it's secure and safe and, and that you'll be able to easily get to it again. So just closing those up. So now you even have more storage here behind the helm. Great big storage box, obviously. You can put a ton of stuff in there. It also allows you great access to the back of this helm station here to be able to do any kind of needed maintenance. But you have your breaker panel in there as well, so you can maintain everything. Everything's real clearly laid out, easy to understand, and just more space. So moving forward to the bow, first off, see how wide this is. Just really easy to get through, really nice and comfortable. You have this stainless steel trim windshield with the tempered glass and no obstructs very easy to see through no distortion in the glass at all moving all the way forward into this great big area up here i'm actually standing on a table that raises up out of the floor i'll show you that right here all it takes is a touch of a button you can raise it up so it's level with the rest of the cushions so this can turn into a giant sun pad area all right or you can bring it all the way up so it creates a, a great table setup 
for having a picnic up here or wine or, or what have you. But just a really nice setup that's completely out of the way when you don't need it, but then functions perfectly either as a sun pad or coming all the way up as that table set up. So I talked about comfort in terms of not only cushions, but ease of use. And that's designed into the boat. For instance, like right here, we got the, these great big storage compartments here. They're insulated. You could put ice in them. They drain overboard. But the really great thing to note about them is how easy they are to access. You don't have to move the cushion out of the way. You can just open them just like that. You can see how big an area this is, how big the opening is, why that's important, because it's easy to get your stuff in and out. A lot of times boats will have very small openings and to get your bag in there, you really have to cram things in or move your bag. And when you go to pull it out, a lot of times the bag catches on the side of the lid or something like that can tear your bag. These are great big wide openings, like I said, gasketed, um, just like those other storage boxes I showed you, so they're gonna stay nice and dry. But this is the kind of little things that really go into making your day on the water a lot easier. All right, just close that up. And now we'll talk about the cushion set up here. This is just really, really well laid out, very wide, the, the cushion. So you can fit two people up here easily. You can also sort of scoot over to the side. You have the bolsters, so you're cushioned from below, and cushioned from the side as well. You feel very comfortable, not like you're gonna potentially roll out of the, of the uh, cushion or anything like that. We have these really wide cushions, but at the same time, this is nice and wide too, so that if you are sitting up here and you wanna converse with someone that's sitting across from you, you're not bumping knees. You still have plenty of space to do that. We have the enclosure up here for the, this that finishes out this used seating. This can be easily removed, which is really nice because that allows you full access to the bow. Okay, so you can work on your windlass. You can get to the big cleats very easily to tie off at the dock or that kind of stuff. You don't have to crawl over cushions to do that. I'll show you, this comes right out like that. You can see now I can get all the way up here and do whatever I need to do up here. Also allows, where we have this standard boarding ladder, bow boarding ladder, which is a great touch. So that way, if you go to the sandbar or something like that, the back end of the boat might be in really deep water. You're not feeling like getting wet, maybe. You don't have to go out the back. You can go out right out the front, go down that ladder, and it's just a great, another great way to uh, get off the boat or board the boat. That ladder, when it's not there, has a dedicated storage cubby right here. So it sits right back in there, goes completely out of the way. So you can see just how great these cushions really are in this whole area. Like I said, tons of space here. You can tuck up into this little corner right here. So you're really well supported. You have your handrail here. You can stretch out your arm like this. Cup holders so you can have your drink right here with you. We have a little cubby. You can have your phone in here with you if you'd like. That has a USB port so you could charge. You have the speakers for it so you're gonna have great sound up here. But just a super comfortable place feel very, very safe, laid back, easy, uh, just a great spot to spend the day on the water. So at Kobe, we take a lot of pride in access to, uh, to areas that might need to be maintained and systems that might need to be maintained. And that starts with big uh, openings like this right here, this big center floor hatch. Comes easily up, it's gas shock assisted. In this particular case, we designed this it basically is a dedicated hatch for a sea keeper system. We have a sea keeper system in here, the sea keeper two. It's on center line, which is really important because you don't want these things off, off to either one side or the other, not only because of a weight thing, um, but in addition, this is all reinforced in here. So it's designed to accept that sea keeper if, if that's an option you want. All right, we'll close this up. Another great access point this hatch actually opens electronically you can see it come up like this just with the push of a button as it opens up you're going to see a great big access area you can actually even crawl down into the build to this access area if you take a look in here you'll see how all the wires are tied up really nicely it's very intuitive it's easy to understand all the systems down in here all the wires are labeled um, at both ends so you know exactly what wire is going where, but just a really clean, nice setup that's super easy to maintain. 
So I, I hope I've done a good enough job of actually showing you how truly exceptional this bit is, but you really need to see it firsthand. It's a perfect blend of luxury, fishing smarts, and high performance. So do yourself a favor, make sure you take the effort to learn more about this boat and learn more about Kobe in general.